Hello, hello, hello. I'm the dog and welcome back to another vlog of our uh, farming enterprise here in Solveran Forest area. I hope you're having a lovely day. My day is actually quite good, thanks. Now we are in the bucky or pickup truck, whatever you want to call it. We are driving down because we got the good news finally. We have a new field. You can see the train or hear the train, so let's get over here. Ooh, there's some new goodies here. Let's quickly jump out and have a look. Cultivate the uh, cedar. Spreader. I think that's the only thing. But yeah, uh, I also had a chat with uh, Freddy with regards to his Demco side dump, and uh, he's working on a plan for us to to basically hire it from him, a lease to own type of thing. That's usually what you can do if you can afford it. That is, if you don't have a lot of other things on lease to own. But yeah, uh, yeah, I think so far we are still fine. But he's going to work out the deal for us, and then uh, we can have a look at that, if that's something that we really want to do. But I think so, because our contractor also let us know that uh, the furnace is done. We are still busy with basic landscaping and all that, because I told them I didn't just want the building, I want it to look as if it's in place. So yeah, they are still busy with that, but we can, it's operational, we can use it. So let's pull over here. And uh, switch off. And have a quick look at our field. So it's basically up to the trees there. This entire grass field. As I said previously, I might be tempted to add in a small bridge or a small road. Going up, maybe through here. Okay, not through there, definitely not. I don't want to destroy the entire thing. But maybe through here somewhere. Through here, just crossing here, because if you go up here, this connects. This is our land. This connects up to this the track here is leading up to our farm up there so it will really really help us we won't necessarily use or drive big equipment over here but over this small bridge but eh, maybe a tractor with the implement this so it's a bit faster to get to our field and uh, I really might be tempted to add in a couple of sheep pastures or cow pastures in here I think that might work quite well because we have this grass field so uh, let's quickly jump in our pickup truck again and uh, you know what let's drive up to our furnace and here we are yeah, it's a bit precarious there on the edge, but luckily they have built up a couple of retaining walls as well. So let's get over the bridge. You can see it's still a work in progress, but that's fine. We can work with that. So you'll probably drive in there, reverse in there to dump it. And I guess if I, if I take a look at this building, the switch off get out. Since there's a door here, we'll probably put it down here so we can load it up. Breathe and suns. Now it's definitely still a work in progress but hey it's operational. We can use it. So that's good. So uh Let's go ahead and have a look at uh, Quarry again. We definitely need to phone Freddy because our 
it's operational why not use it now we are already paying for the land it's on we have the equipment or hopefully all we have all the equipment in the near future because we need a nice dumping trailer and I think that one will be a good size let's quickly have a look because with that membership fee that we pay to the quarry to be able to take all this out we do have access to their equipment up here I know they have a, a dump truck and a wheel loader that we can use but if it's going to be too much of a hassle we might just want to get our own in the future let's park up here let's have a quick key you know this dump truck is a bit on the small side if we don't hear from Freddy soon then we will definitely use this if we do have access to it as you can see all of this iron ore down here it looks like people don't really use it at this stage and then we have this small little loader let's see if I can get in yeah so we are able to use this so yeah that's something that we are definitely going to look at but let me get back to the farm and we can uh, we might see if Freddy is in so we can have a quick discussion with him on our way to the farm but if it's not then we can always phone him later no need to rush anything at this stage but yeah, we need to discuss a couple of things and uh, I have something else to show you but I'll see you when we are back at the farm and uh, I had a quick discussion with Freddy he is making me quite a good offer on this the side on trailer uh, it's about six hundred dollars per per day which uh, isn't great but with the amount of money that we will make from the the furnace I think we can can at least try this if we go for a week and we see it's not really pay profitable or a month then we can always uh, go back on it because uh, it's a month to month service but after a month if we're not happy we can revoke our basically get the contract null and void it and the same on his side but if we are happy and he's happy then that might be a good thing so I think we will do it so uh, let's drive up grab our truck and uh, come along and pick up our least to own uh, but no, I'm actually blanking now because I don't want any spoilers. But uh, you probably saw it already. Let's just drive up here. Our uh, people were quite a bit busy, our contractor. Here's our rustic looking barn. Completed, done, ready to go. Let's just park here. It's not the biggest, but I think it will work for us. We can drive through here, out this side, flood lightning there, flood lightning there, just to make sure everything's lit up. And uh, yeah, there's a bit of space. It's a bit tricky to get this trailer in here, but that's fine. We can cope. But yeah, and then we are leaving our forestry equipment here because it has a track I don't really want to mess up the new concrete and we can re just reverse our truck in here so let me get in get this started up and then we can drive down and collect our side dump and go for the first but I'll see you now
And here we are. So let's get this part up. And uh, take off the tail cover. And uh, let me quickly go and get the keys from the office. And I'll see you now. And we have a keys for the wheel loader. Let's jump up here. And let's get in there. So this will take quite a while, if I'm not mistaken. Because this is a big trailer and this is a small wheel loader. I think this will take quite a while. But let's get this picked up. And let's get this loaded. I won't let you sit through everything, but let's have a look at the first dump of uh, our iron ore. Might be a bit too close. Reverse this, let's jump out, jump out and see, yeah that's a minuscule amount, but I won't let you sit through everything, let's get the drone out, well, let's get that out, and uh, I'll see you now. been a wild ride it's a couple of hours later and 16 tons of iron ore has been loaded so yeah this will take quite a while if we continue to do it that way but we first need to make a bit of money because I really really want to stop leasing to own the things and just buy them outright they will make us a bit easier and uh, we won't have to pay as much interest as we are paying at this stage. So yeah, the reason why I chose this plot here is because it's really close and I don't really have to drive up a hill to get this delivered. Still a little bit of a hill but nothing major so let's see if we can get this backed up in there and uh, unload it and with the struggle we unloaded it the grounds are really flat here so it's a bit tricky and uh, this bit here is really a problem really see if I can uh, get the contract to fill this up with suitable oil or stones whatever so that would make it a bit easier if you can drive up here and go up this way and then just reverse all the way back because that was a couple of turns to get that one done but let's get this in and uh, maybe fold up again and you know what let's get this two or three fold up and brought over here but I'll see you now. With a bit of a struggle, the last load is here, but uh, it was a bit too much. So uh, I'm just leaving the dump trailer right there. This land is mine. There's a couple of roads going through it, but I don't think someone will come and mess with it. Hopefully not. We put our faith in our fellow man. So while they are chugging along producing metal for us, Let's go back into our into town and maybe go and see 
how the wood turner is turning uh, products out. But let's get this truck back to the farm and maybe grab the bucky. Otherwise, just grab the side by side. But I'll see you now. And uh, I quickly phoned the wood turner. They say they have two or three pallets that we can collect. So I'm just taking the bucket. It will be a bit faster. And uh, I believe I can stack them up, so that's fine. But there is some more in news that I have to uh, share with you guys. I spoke with a town council with regards to the roller coaster. And they are looking for contractors or suppliers of uh, products so they can get that up and running again. So I spoke with them and uh, they are really, really interested in our services to provide some products. So they will need wood uh, staircase railings and metal and planks and all that. No, we don't have everything. The idea is if our, met our furnace is making enough money that we can maybe buy other businesses then uh, we can provide more and more for the town council so they can repair the roller coaster. So that's the idea. So hopefully nobody else has this idea so we can uh, profit from that and improve our new town. But let me quickly get these guys, get this loaded up and uh, we can sell this. I'll quickly phone a, I believe Sunny Cafe the cafe might need some more bowls and paper grinders. I don't know why they need so many bowls and paper grinders, but uh, maybe I'll ask them. But they take quite a lot. But this I'm going to take to the roller coaster so long. So we can start that, uh, that uh, business of ours and uh, help the town as well. But let me quickly chat to these guys and Okay, so I found out this cafe gives out paper grinders and a bowl. It all depends on what you order as a sort of a gift for the, the diners. So that's actually quite nice. That's quite lovely. I see they moved that uh, railings to the center of uh, over the, the axle. So that's good. So let's head on out to the roller coaster. Because we need to get there. The guys phoned me about five minutes ago. And told me they are there, ready to unload. Did this. They asked me about the planks and stuff like that, and I told them at this stage I can't uh, deliver it. But they say no, I failed to see what the other suppliers do. Maybe uh, we can look at that in the future. But for now, they might just be happy with whatever they use. But I think we'll leave it here. I'll get the guys to unload this. And I hope you enjoyed this more random episode or, uh, of our vlog. And I hope to see you in the next one. Cheerio.